probably never crossed your mind in your whole existence. But did you know toilets saved humanity from inevitable extinctions? What? Are you sure? Okay, okay. Sounds like a bit of a conspiracy, right? But hear me out. This is a toilet. A thing that can change your mood without doing anything. A thing that can ruin your day without saying a thing. Toilets can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. Join me on this quick journey of exploration as we delve into the fascinating history of toilets. The flush toilet, which is the most common type of toilet in the world today, was invented in 1596 by Sir John Harrington, a godson of Queen Elizabeth I of England. Though it's still unclear who really invented the first toilet in the world, people were already aware thousands of years ago that feces should be disposed of properly. The Sumerians in Mesopotamia built the oldest toilets known to date between 3,500 and 3,000 BC. They consisted of deep pits lined with stacked ceramic tubes on which the user sat. There was no flushing system. According to some archaeologists, 5,000 years ago, in ancient Egypt, undeveloped indoor toilet facilities were made available to citizens. Then the world's first public sewage system appeared around 2,500 years ago in the ancient Pakistani city of Mohenjo-Daro. But even back then, toilets could already be used as status symbols in society. If your toilet has limestone tops that sit over a pit of sand, then that means you're wealthy. But if you're poor, your toilet is a wooden stool with a hole cut in the top. Or your toilet is nature itself. Hmm. Ew. Like we already know about the Romans' advancement amongst other groups of people during ancient times, they are also more advanced than others when it comes to human waste disposal. But the problem is that back then, toilets were still a stranger to most parts of the world. So where do they dispose their human waste? Well, of course to nature, to the land where they play, to the land where they plant their food, and to the river where they swim, like a dog who takes their shits outside. People in ancient times used nature as their public toilets. Actually, even now in some parts of the world, some are still pooping outside. And that's when the problem came in. You see, diseases back then were always fatal because, as we know, they lacked knowledge about medicines. And most of the diseases can be spread through improper disposal of human waste. During the time period of 3,000 to 5,000 years ago, several diseases were prevalent that had a significant impact on human populations. There was tuberculosis, malaria, smallpox, cholera, plague, and many more. But some of the deadliest diseases that kill millions of humans like cholera and the plague can be widely spread through feces. Yes, through human waste. Did you know how deadly cholera is? According to the World Health Organization, it is estimated that there are between 21,000 and 143,000 deaths worldwide each year due to cholera. This data is only for the present time. But what about death counts during ancient times? Well, during ancient times, exact data on the number of deaths caused by cholera was not available due to the lack of reliable recording systems and documentation. However, historical records suggest that cholera outbreaks were widespread and often led to significant mortality rates. Cholera has been present in several major pandemics throughout history, most notably during the 19th century. One of the deadliest outbreaks, known as the Third Cholera Pandemic, occurred from 1852 to 1860 and resulted in millions of deaths worldwide. It is important to note that the impact of cholera during ancient times was likely significant because during those times, toilets and sewage systems were not yet well developed. The second one is the plague. The plague, commonly referring to the Black Death pandemic, occurred in the 14th century. The initial outbreak began in the mid-1300s, with the most severe outbreak taking place between 1347 and 1351, resulting in the deaths of millions of people and causing widespread social and economic disruption. However, it's worth noting that plague outbreaks have occurred throughout history, with the most recent outbreak in the early 20th century. It means those millions of deaths mentioned in the historical data were just from the 14th century up to the 20th century. But what about during ancient times? Well, there's no exact data about death counts made by the plague during ancient times. But then again, toilets and proper sanitation back then were not yet developed as they are today. So spreading these diseases might happen inevitably fast. Imagine if toilets were never invented and people were still taking shits outside. Hmm, I guess that's something hard to imagine. Anyway, 
Thanks to toilets, humans can still exist today. We survived many diseases and outbreaks just because we learned how to make proper sewage systems. Until now, people have kept inventing more advanced toilets so we can live comfortably in the next century. Now that you know how important toilets are to the existence of humanity, maybe next time you will never take your toilet for granted.